We're going to do a movie now for you. The cast is moving chairs around. Always wanted to do this. But in order to do this movie, we need suggestions from you, the studio audience, of the types or styles or genres. It's a big word, you're a hip crowd. <laughs> the styles or genres of films that you like to watch. So now, for Paul, who played Elvis, we need a suggestion of a style of a movie. Not a particular title. Now, this is a style of movie. Any style. Horror. Foreign, did you say, or horror? Horror. 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 Okay, for Paul. For Linda. X-rated. X-rated. <laughs> uh, take your hands up from under the table there. <laughs> you dirty little thing, you. Okay, and now for Phil. Uh, a musical, okay. One x ray is enough, okay? You want to leave the studio now? <laughs> if you laugh enough, she will. <laughs> we all will. I'm the warm-up. And he will, too. Okay, now for Carol. Silent story. Uh, a detective only because Carol can't be silent. She's, she's never been silent. A detective. Yes, well, sometimes. Uh, a detective story, that's good. And finally, one for myself, a real easy one. You know, no science challenge. Fiction. Science fiction? Science fiction. Walt Disney's like science fiction. Oh, he just did the black hole, that wonderful thing. Okay. <laughs> sorry, Walt. Uh, sorry, Walt. Um, science fiction, great. And now, we need a movie title. And for this, we're going to go to our home audience. You lucky little devils, get your fingers ready. Now, we'd like a title. Which title would you like? We'd like a title. They are The Naked and the Dead, Gidget Goes Hawaiian, Godzilla versus the Smog Monster, Kramer versus Kramer, The Effect of Gamma, gray, gamma Rays on Moon, man, on man and the Moon Marigolds. Touch now, please, while I take a speech lesson. OK, and they're coming. I can hardly wait. The title is Naked, Naked and Dead. dead. <laughs> Just wait till after the show. Now, okay. we do that after the, the cube goes off the air. <laughs> So for all you who think, the, the title is Naked and Dead. And now an object, once again, from our audience here in the studio. We like to call you that for lack of anything better. <laughs> a barrel of oil. A barrel of oil. Well, thank you. From Iran or what? That's Anywhere. OK, a barrel of oil. And now our conductor, Maestro Christopher Boyan. And now, if you would recite your prospective styles, please. Horror. X-rated. <laughs> Musical. Detective. Uh. And science fiction. And now, the object being a barrel of oil, we present <laughs> the naked and the dead. I was in my office at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon when she knocked on the door. She was a tall, cool blonde. She had on a red dress, red lipstick, Short nylons and stubby little heels. I thought she'd be perfect for my experiment. <laughs> so I asked her to come downstairs into the laboratory where we might check her head size out. She was perfect, a size seven and three eighths. But as I put the belt around her head, I noticed two antenna suddenly start growing out of the sides of her head. They were rather attractive, but still, I'd never made it with an alien before. <laughs> this was a chance of a lifetime. I realized it. I was more and more excited as the minutes went by. I said, darling. Would you be my funny valentine? She said no, so I immediately turned the switch. Bolts of lightning flashed through her body. But she lay limp on the slab. That usually does it to him every time. Technique, that's what you learn when you're hard up. But this is no ordinary blonde. Oh, no, she was there for a purpose. So I slapped her till she came to and I made her tell me. And she told me the sad story of her life. Ooh. It seems that her sister was missing. She had escaped from Alcatraz. <laughs> or was it Sing Sing? Or was it a McDonald's? She couldn't remember. Her antenna had gotten twisted during the foreplay. But nonetheless, she needed her sister to complete a 30-year contract. And so she sang to me, please 
release me, let me go. But I wouldn't because her sister had the right blood type to complete the experiment. We sent for her sister and strapped her onto the other slab and cut off all her thighs. Now she's got hefty thighs. Hefty thighs, but skinny calves. I never like broads that way. <laughs> so I said, hey, what's that behind you? She said, why don't you look? I did. And before I knew it, there was a ray shot through the back of my head. Or was it the front? I couldn't tell. And there I was, alienized. Fly me to the moon and let me play among your Stars. Boy, did I see stars. Those aliens really know some things that you and I don't. You've never experienced it. My suggestion to you is to go down to that street and find a couple of aliens because they hold up better in experiments. The experiment was not over. I needed one huge barrel of oil to put the missing thighs into. As soon as I had this complete, all would be well. So I brought a huge barrel over and I said, okay, Brad, you see this oil? You know what I'm gonna do with this oil? I want you to dump in, jump in this oil and I'm gonna lubricate your oil, I'm gonna ship you back to the moon. But I don't like you guys here. This is my territory. So I took the broad, dumped her in the... Oil. And I realized I had made a fossil fuel. <laughs> which was pretty incredible, considering they weren't even fossils. But yes, I had made a fuel which could power a rocket to escape from Earth, which was now beginning to blow up. Yes, that's what Earth was doing. And I was going to save Earth and the world and my m mother too. <laughs> and it just brought a song to my heart as it always does at these moments. Everyone's gone to the moon. Especially me in that trip. I tell you, with those girls lubed up, and me flying high, there was, seemed to be no end of what could happen. But all was not safe yet. For when I put the fuel into the rocket ship and turned the engines, Frankenstein's body awoke and started to walk toward me. I said, what the hell are you doing in this movie? <laughs> he said, I too want to save Earth. And he grabbed the woman. He said, I want to marry one or both. And he tore them apart. And there they were. Line, one half in one hand, one half of the other. I said, well, honey, you did it. You killed the broads, you saved the world. And all I've got left is the butt of this cigarette. I stamped it out on the floor. There they were, laying on the floor, naked, dead, dead, naked. The world was saved, and I hadn't made a buck. 